Hello team, Team Double GDP. I'm coming to you from Chili Coal Valley today. And I am excited about uh, sharing some of the progress from this sprint. This time we, we have actually um, uh, independent updates from uh, each person on the team. And so I will link to all of those in the description, but I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to give just a quick summary of, uh, of the great progress. Uh, so the goal of the sprint was to be ready for launch um, and uh, actually have uh, things live for uh, Inquashi. We are slightly short of that goal. Um, we have uh, a lot of progress, and uh, but still some loose ends that we need to tie up. Um, so I'll go through some of the things that we uh, did get done, and then some of the uh, some of the loose ends that we still need to finish in the next sprint. Uh, but on the product, we have a great uh, deal of new um, uh, new design, where we've uh, had a, we've added a couple of new screens and polished some others. So we have an update profile screen and a review and accept screen. Uh, but the big uh, uh, news on product is that we we are live on production now uh, and i have a url that i'll put in the um in the comments here um and uh and that involves a major refactor that uh, mark did on the front end of the code moving it over to react and making it very modular and he'll take you through a lot more of that in the, the demo that he has uh, we have most of the flow implemented uh, and it still needs to incorporate some of the uh, designs that uh, that Ahmed shared. Uh, so that's some of the loose ends that, uh, that we need to touch up. And then we will need to preload a lot of data for uh, Inquashi team to be able to use it. So I think that's another thing that we'll, we'll pick up shortly. On the customer front, uh, we have designed our first draft. Uh, we have our first draft of a research strategy. It includes some deep dives on product that we wanna have, that we'll have uh, out there and some ideas around uh, things that we want to explore um, with residents or with uh, administrators. Uh, but it also includes some, wide, some wider research around ethnographic studies of some of the potential residents and just really spending some time to understand what, uh, what their lives are like and what they're expecting from a new city. Um, interviews with community leaders and, um, and uh, ride-alongs with staff and security. Um, on the customer side, we also have a training deck for security guards, and we are uh, planning uh, to review that with them this week, uh, with uh, Poniso this week, and uh, train guards on October 12th. Uh, so that is the that is the planned uh, rollout now. And um, and then on the market front, we had a good uh, meeting with another entrepreneur uh, targeting uh, communities that are uh, forming. Uh, and the communities initially formed around uh, housing for uh, people that are attending Lambda schools, so students of Lambda schools or trainees of Andela. Uh, and right now he's exploring uh, sites uh, in Nigeria and in Ghana. Uh, and uh, Ghana was exciting for us to hear because independently we heard through our through other connections that this is uh, kind of the most uh, exciting country right now for uh, charter cities in Africa or among the, the leading city uh, countries for charter cities in Africa um, just because of the government's interest in it there. Uh, so that was exciting to sort of hear that project coming along. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, in the, uh, our goal for the next sprint is to tie up some of these loose ends. Uh, we think that we are ready to start recruiting another engineer. So getting going on that uh, and actually get it out into the hands of the guards. So we think uh, we see line of sight to that in this next sprint and uh, are excited to do that. So that's it for now. And uh, we have uh, independent updates from Mark, Jay, and Ahmed. Uh, so I will link to those in this video. Thank you so much.